Lazar, how are you, buddy? Oh, how are you? How are you? Well, Nick. How was your Father's Day? Same, same as every day. <laughs> I don't want it to be, I don't, my, my kids want to celebrate it, but I don't. It's, to me, it's, how about you? Been there, done that, you know, I'm not. We had a barbecue, be, that's cute. Nice. Oh, good for, good for you, good for you. Yeah. I know one place they don't celebrate it. Compton, right? <laughs> ah, <laughs> a little confusing down there, huh? Yeah. Okay. Well, Baruch Hashem, uh, we have, we're very Jewish. Every day is keep it up. Is every day is Father's Day. That's every right. day. Yeah. Every day. When are you gonna walk to shul? What's going on? I mean, I go to Beis Yehud every day, every Shabbos. Can you uh, walk to Young Israel? No, a little too far for me. A little too far. It's a good daf, a good daf on Shabbos. We get in a whole hour. You know what I mean? It's relaxing. Good. We have some soda. Good. Well, I get I get a couple a couple blotters on on Shabbos. Sit out in their patio in the afternoon. You know, we get we get about 40, 50 people come from Menchad Mar to my house and out in the back there. Of the backyard, people in the area they come out. So nice, yeah, really nice. It's really nice out there. Yeah, yeah. So you cover more than a block, Shabbos? Yeah, we're on um, Kuf Bay Summit Aleph at the bottom. Okay, good. I learned. I learned to. I learned to the end of Kuf Bay. Oh, good. That's good. Yeah. He removed the upper one, but left the lower one. You got to remove the one right on the foot, not the one above the foot. They tore the upper one. They burnt or got rid of the bottom one. But the koi loy, but the top one is still there. My, do we say chalitza bina vaika? They did the chalitza of the lower one. Oy dilma glui karabi in a veleka, but they have to reveal the foot. They didn't reveal the foot because the upper one is was still there. Afraid to gemara miyeka ki ay gavna. Is it possible that people wear multiple shoes in? The chazir rabban rav yud is novi b'cham shazuzi mukil l'shuki. He used to go out in five pairs of slippers to the market. Arvei amarav yivamer shigdila bein achim. You have a young girl who was married to one of the brothers. The brother died. And this young girl grew up with the other, with the remaining brothers who are, who are her Yavama. Now, maybe you should be concerned that at some point while they were living together in the same house, she removed one of the brother's shoes. And maybe therefore Chlitza was dead. And then therefore none of the brothers can marry her as Yibo. Why, why wouldn't them. it require Das? So the Rav Yudah says, "Muteris li nasi leecha bina achim." She's muter. We don't say vein choishes in shem achatzah son of leecha mehem, and we're not choishes that she did the chlitz. Time adol chazia chazia chayshia. But if we saw her removing a foot, a, a, a shoe from a guy's foot, we would be choishes. Freight the Gemara like Kenny, but Tanya bench niskavin hu v'lo niskav nihi. If he had kavon and she did not, so why should it be that if she happened to have removed the shoe of one of the brothers, none of them had kavon? So, 
even though we might have seen one of the brothers come up home and the girl removed his shoes, we're not quite sure that they had kavana for chlitz. Vikid the ami time and Allah chazina. The wisdom were not quite sure because we didn't see a chazina quite sure. Who the katana boy kavana and the tana that wanted kavana on him in the leash to read alma. Right. Nobody will say that the chlitz is good enough to allow her to marry to the outside world. Avala achin mifsula. But even without kavana, the act of chlitza would work even without kavana. Now, the Psaka Lach, according to Rambam, that in order to have to be muteris, linosik, lizar, they need kavana. Now, if neither of them had kavana, it's enough, though, to possible her from the achin. We don't allow yibum. Now, if we didn't see that she ever took the shoe out, then we're not choshish and she can do Yibum. That's not the Rambam pas. Om Rav Yudam Rav, sandal atofer bepishtan. The sandal that's been, the laces are made out of linen, ain cholzenbo. Shunemar ve'nalcha tachash. Tachash is like a, an animal that's a chaya. It's got to be made out of, the whole thing has to be made out of an animal, not pishtan, which comes from the ground. I aim a tachash in midi Maybe that will, maybe it's got to be made out of tachash. No, I'll no, I'll read, but it says no, I'll twice or multiple times. Much more than any kind of leather or hide from an animal that's using as a shoe that would work. You know, no, I'll read, but I feel the in the So maybe we should include pishtan so in Kane tachash, my money, but then we would have no limit for tachash. So it's got to be, it can't be plant-like. Who shall or who traces of shall say our mahu. The shoe is made out of leather. The, the, the laces above the, on the, on the calf are a hair. That's also nal chatacha, so it fits. Yachi kulo shall say nami. Maybe if it's all made out of hair. No, a karka mikri. The karka is like a, like a, like a, like a slipper, like a ballet shoe, and that's not really considered a minnow. A now, I'm really of kind of lishmo. The mind the high v'chalza noalom al raglo mishlufri. First of all, how do you know the word chalitza means to take off the shoe? Dixiv v'chiltsu savanim asher bohen anoga. Because when a buy is struck with saras and they remove all the stones, so the word chalitza means to remove. Amazrizu, maybe it's to be machasik them. When they were told to appoint soldiers for the battle against Midian, like a chalutz. Like, be strong. No, it meant oh, send the kid, send the the young boys out from their house to the battle. So chlitza means to remove. Means an oni will will become even more poor. So it's a mash loshn of chizuk. So because. He went through um, poverty. He will, he will be able to be removed from the clutches of Gehenna. There it says they, again: the malachim should be strengthened. So there again, because the schar of the people who fear Hashem. They'll be removed from the din of Ganem. Bind up your bones. And it's a blessing. And it means to strengthen your bones. So I, the word chlitza, has multiple meanings. It seems sometimes it means to remove. 
And sometimes it means to be machazik. And the Gemara accepts it in mashmahachi, mashmahachi. It has both meanings. The hacha isakadach lezuzi, who, if by the Yavama, it meant the woman should strengthen the connection of the shoe on his foot. Fix his shoe on his foot, not may raglo. Was the ikas of rachman a bir raglo? I mean a bir raglo in b'shoy kolo. Maybe that meant only the foot, but not the calf. Because rachman me al raglo da filo b'shoy kolo even the calf. In kei lichta of rachman a bim me al raglo. My me al raglo shma mina mishlof. It means to remove the shoe. So the Gemara has the final proof that when it says v'chol sonalo means to remove it. A certain min, a, 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 a heretic. Some were Christian, some were not Christian. And they knew the Tanakh very well. And they used to try to prove what they wanted to say from Tanakh. Most of it was to show that after the Chorbin, Klai Yisrael has been rejected by Kodesh Baruch Hu. They are the new Yisrael. Because the Christian philosophy was they've taken over as the new Amma Nifchat. So, Amma the Chalat Slay Mari Mine, you did Chlitza to, the men said to you did Chlitza to your master. Got rid of their Hashem through Means they, not that Hashem got rid of them. Even when a when a Yavama removes the shoe, it's just symbolic. And the fact that it says that Yisrael left Hashem, that it's not mamish. It's 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 just uh, figurative. Then the Mishnah said, "Ban pila An pila was a shoe made out of like a, a shmatis. It seems to be telling us that a, an ampil is not a shoe. I'll show you that it is a shoe. It's a sock, a sock. Here the, the definition of a sock. When they went into the Truma Salishka to remove the money, so they were not allowed to dress in certain things because we were concerned that they might stuff money. So they couldn't wear like a, 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 a jacket with a seam and they couldn't wear this, I guess, a sock. Certainly not a shoe. You have to go in barefoot. On Yom Kippur, you're not allowed to wear a minnal or a sandal or an anpila. Not from a house to a house, only about the limit. Am Rabbiya, the ispe ksis yumushum tanuk. We're talking about an anpila that has more shmatas attached to it, and it's too enjoyable to use on Yom Kippur. Am Rabbiya, Mishum Tanuk, below minnal, Yom Kippur, Mehasiri. As long as you're not wearing a shoe, Defined as a shoe, it's not also in Yom Kippur. For Rabbi Ravuna Karach Sudra Karbanafik, he he wrapped shmatas around his feet and walked like that on Yom Kippur. Elam Rav Loi Kasher. Kanban Pila Shel Or. If the Ampil was made out of leather, it's considered a shoe. Kanban Pila Shel Begit. But if it's made out of shmatas, it's not a shoe. Achadami Mistavra. Makes logical sense. I'll bring you a steer by Yom Kippur. The time lo yital adam the court gasian betoch beso. 
You can't walk around in your house on Yom Kippur with this kudgasim. What's Kudkasyan? Rashi, Minolim Dakim, thin shoes, Shunoilin Tachas Minolim Avim, Lahagin Minamayim, like galoshes to prevent water. Abu Matailu Ban Pilim Betoch Beso. But you could walk around with Ampil Betoch Beso, so Ampil is Muteres, and another Yom Kippur, another Din in Yom Kippur says Ampil is Osir. And I love Shema Minot, Kan Ban Pilish Shil Or. If the ampil is made out of leather, it's prohibited on Yom Kippur. Kan ba'ampil shel beged is made out of completely out of beged shmami not. So on Yom Kippur, you're not allowed to wear anything made out of leather. But a rubber shoe, the Rambam says benal shel gumi, or kash straw, or shel beged, like our sneakers, right? That are made out of canvas. Like a baguette, it's not leather. Tanya Kavos say, the Rav Chotzer b'Min Al Nifram. If you do chlitza with a shoe that the shoelaces have come undone, but choifas Rav Aregel, but it covers the majority of the foot. B'Sana Al Nifchat Shemakavos Rav Aregel, a broken sandal that's a little open, but it's still covering the majority of the foot. The sandal shall sham shall sieve. Sham is, is cork material. Sieve is like uh, from underneath a palm tree, also like a palm material. The kava kitea, a wooden leg from somebody who needs to wear a wooden leg. The muk. Raji says, kilson shalavad. Kasha will make it very hard, like felt. Bismichas are aglayim. Some kind of cover that an amputee would wear. It's not a real shoe. Banpila shall or, or one of these socks made of leather. Bachoyletz is men agodl. If the person who's having a shoe removed was an adult, whether he's standing, sitting, or leaning. Or if the, the person that you're removing the shoe of is blind, all of these cases, but if the shoe doesn't cover the foot, doesn't fit the foot, Somebody, a an amputee, makes something for his hands. In order, like, you know, in order they would they would like crawl on the ground that way. So, Van Pilar shall beg it. Or the 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 shoe was made out of garment. Or the chalitz is done to a cotton chalitz also psuma. Kava kite amani. Who is the Author of the one that says if you if you remove the wooden leg of an amputee, it's okay. Rab Mary did not akitea yotzeb kafshal de Rab Mary. Rab Mary held that on Shabbos, an amputee can go out with his wooden leg. It's considered like a tachshid hulo, and it's like a shoe. It's like we can go out with our shoes. Rab Yosef Yemer ba'am pilish shul beged. Rabbi Yossi Oyser. Oh, Rabbi Yossi said you're not allowed to go out on Shabbos. Now, the Gemara at Ban Pilish will beg at the Chlitzes Psuma. So that seems to be back to the sheet of the Chachami. Om Rabbi, I mean, it's safe Rabbon, Rabbi Yossi, Nami Rabbon. The Rabbi of Mechupa Or. The Rabbi is talking about where these types of shoes had a, a leather covering. So that's why it was kosher. Armalei Rava. 
Aval ein mechupa or my puzzle. But if it wasn't covered with leather, it's puzzle iachi. Why did you wait? Adatani say vapilashul beged that you talked about. When is it possible? When you're wearing a shoe made out of shmat, the lift look with your day, stay on the same topic. But med or if you if you got a shoe but it's covered with leather, it's fine. Aval emakhopa or possible, you don't have to come on to the ampilia. Avaravra, me the rachel may say for number of me. So I'm making valo making. So it depends whether this shoe is protective or not. If it's protected, the the amputee's you know uh wooden leg. Then it's can treat it like a shoe. If not, it's not treated like a shoe. Amra my my man the high man the chalit start lemit chosei lecharei. The person who's having his shoe taken off, he has to have his foot strongly on the ground, and then the chlitz is done. Am levashi leameimer. Ve'atanya beinomi beinyoshe bein mute. It makes no difference whether he's standing, sitting, or leaning. Emo la oil on the dachas lecharei, but in whatever. Position he's standing, the foot has to be firmly on the ground. He's born with his foot opposite, like backwards. It's a congenital defect. Chalitza <laughs> cannot be done. He cannot go on the soles of his foot. So he puts he puts some uh shmatas there and his 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 calves are dragging. Look or you can do chlitza like that. Lav the cholitz bo you that you're actually removing this these shmatas. Look, do you have the la'ak of a cholitz? He he gives them to somebody. Else, who has a normal foot, and they do it to that person who needs it. That other person can use these smuchos and the chlitza be done. But the guy who's got a bent foot cannot do chlitza. These were famous eulogizers. And everybody knew that they had these backwards feet. So they would not be able to do chlitza. Then we said, if there was an amputation below the knee, then the chlitza could be done. If it's above the knee, it can't. Means that everyone has a chi of ali ali yerushalayim. But somebody who has a, a wooden leg, he's not chayiv. So we see it's not called a regal. Shani yochad achsiv me'al raglo. By chlitz it says from his regal. So it's not just his foot, but it's even his calf, which is the part above the foot. Yochi l'malam an arkuva nami. So then why not say chlitz could be done if the amputation is above the knee? So that's already considered me'al de me'al. Me'al you can do above the foot, meaning on the calf, you could do it. But below me'al de me'al, but above, above, you can't. Amrak Papa. Shmami no hai istavira. The bone that goes down to the heel. <coughs> Is one bone at Aranachas. The Isak Adag Mifsik Posik, if you say it's not connected directly, then Avila Iu Mal, Vashaka Me'al Demel, then the calf would also be considered Me'al Demel. So the Gemara rejects it. Omar Vashi, if you look at them in Mifsik Posik, you'd say there's multiple bones. Of course, we know there are multiple bones there. Called body Kara Kikara Dali, but if it's connected to the foot, it's considered like the foot, even if it's multiple bones. We said, Minar Kuvalamala, it's not good. From above the knee, and he wears a some kind of ampu, you know, some kind of prosthetic there, the chlitz is not kosher. Mostly Rav Kana. What do you mean? I'll show you that the, the areas between the thighs are called raglayim. Uvishul Yasaha Yotzeis Bein Ragleha. 
This refers to the placenta that comes between her legs. Now it doesn't come between her calves, it comes between her thighs. L'chora, the thigh is called me bein ragleya. Om rabaya bishasha karas lele. When a woman goes, gives birth, she puts sort of her heels together. Noetzis akeves biarkosea to her thigh, right? She, she sort of squats. The yoleta, so it looks like it's coming from the thigh. Toshma lo asar raglav lo asar svamo. In Shmua Bays, we're going to be told that uh, he didn't fix his hair, didn't fix his beard, and his his, his hair by his genitalia. So there also it's called regel. Lasar raglav is referring to the genital hairs. Lishtamalia, though, they're just using regel because they wanted to use a clean language. Toshma bayavor shaula seches raglav. This we learn in Shmuel Aleph, when Shaul goes to go to the bathroom in the cave, he says, La raglov, which is near the thigh. Lishtam Ali again, they're using the word regel because it's a clean language. Toshma, ach mesichu raglov b'chadar makare. By Eglon Melech Moab, it says he went to the bathroom. And mesich raglov again, it calls the thighs regel. Lishtam Aliyah, again, they use the clean language. Then it says by Yoel, when she enticed Sisra, Bain Ragleha. So again, the thigh is called Ragleha. Lishtam Aliyah. On Rav Yechman, Sheva Be'ilos Baloi Sarosh Shabbat Sisra had seven times relations with Yoel. She tired him out and then she killed him. Shinemar Bain Ragleha Kora Nofal Shochav. Bain Ragleha Kora Nofal. Basher Kora Sham Nafal Shadud. Each Kora Nafal Shachab, each time is a Be'il at seven times. Frank Gumarva Al Kamisanim Aveira. Ah, she was Nana from Aveira. How could she do that? On Rav Yechim Shem Ben Yochai called Toy Vosan Shol Rishoim. Roha Yi Yetzel Tzadikim. Anytime something good happens to the Rasha, the Tzadik isn't happening and he's not benefiting from it. Lovan was warned, don't speak to Yaakov, whether, it, whether good or bad. So Bishma Ra, I understand why Lovan was to, warned not to speak to Yaakov bad. L'chai, I understand. El Tova Milo. Why shouldn't he speak Tova about Yaakov? El Shmamina, Toivosan, Shorushan, Roy Yetzel Sadiq. Anything good that a Russia does, that Sadiq are not happy about it. So Bishma has dil mit kolishmed davod zara. Fine, maybe Lavan is so fashtup with davod zara. He's going to mention davod zara. It's going to bother Yaakov. El hacha my ra ika. What kind of raw did did Yael have in having relations with Sisra? Oh, plenty raw. The kashari bazu when when he injects when he injects into the woman, it's called zuama. It's like something bad. He's and 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 makes a roishem to the person's makabelit. Chazal somehow think that the nochash had relations with chava, and some kind of zuama was put into chava. And b'shosha amdu yisrael arsi nai paska zuama so. This zuama was removed from human women Jewish because they were in Harsina. But this zuama is still in Goyesha women. If they did chlitza with a shoe that was not his. So we said the chlitza was kshera in the Mishnah. Ton Rabbana no'alo. How do we know that he can borrow a shoe? Any shoe. In Cain, then why did it say his shoe? It's got to fit him. It's too big that he can't walk with it. It's too small, it doesn't cover the majority of his foot. Like, a, like beach thongs. She'en lo ekev doesn't have a heel. Like something behind. Like even an Israeli sandal, the old type of Israeli sandals, had something behind your, your, 
Achilles heel, but a, a thong doesn't have anything behind. A bay of a kamekin, a bay of a koi kamei to Rav Yosef. Bay was before Rav Yosef. Also, Yevom alachutz. Yevom showed up to Rav Yosef to have cleats. Armin lehavle sandal. So Rav Yosef told Abai, "Give her your shoe." Yoiv le sandal of the small one. Abai gave him his left shoe. Armin leheimed of Rabbanon the Evan. We said that if a left shoe is used, it's okay with the Evan. Lachatchila miyomer. We never said you should use it lachatchila. Armin leyachit sandal shein shalonami. Eimed of Rabbanon the Evan lachatchila miyomer. Chachamim also when it says it doesn't belong to him, that's not a lachatchila did. But the Evan, if it was done, it works. But what do you tell me to give me, give that guy my shoe? Meaning, when you give it to him, be makne it to him. Do a kinyan, so it becomes him. And the Rabbam says, when the guy comes to Bezdin, he should be wearing a shoe that belongs to him. However, now we use the sandal of Bezdin. So Bezdin is makne, the shoe to him, as a matona. And then he gives it back. Some say when, when he gets it as a matona, he has to walk around with it a little bit before he does before they do the chlitza. Sandal shal eitz, a wooden shoe. We said the chlitza was kshema. Man tarama shmar meir hi. Vistakite, yotzebekav shal adiv rebmeir. Rebmeir held that a wooden prosthetic for an amputee, a person could go out on Shabbos. It's considered a shoe. That if it's covered with leather, everyone holds it's permitted as a shoe. So you have two matzaras in a beged. If there, there are simonim where we don't know yet that it's ma, it's been muchlat by the koya that it's tummy. The person has been put in sequester, sequester he's a musger. So let's say the shul is a the shoe is a musger and not a muchlat. Lechatchila, don't use it. But if you use it, it's ksheva. Sandla muchlat lo If the Shu has been declared a mochlet saraz, you should not use it. If you use it, it's possible. So Rav Papa says, the chlitz is good no matter what kind of saraz it is. I'll ask you a question. Buy a musger, you have a house. The coin has not made it mukhlet yet, it's musgur. Metamimitocho. If you go inside the house, become tummy. You touch the outside of the house, you're not tummy. Mukhlet. Once the coin says for sure it's tummy, mitocho umeachlo. If you go inside the house or you touch the house on the outside, you become tummy. Zevazemetabim bebiya. Both, if you walk into the house, even without touching anything, your metam. Isak that the kedemich this tummy. Now, if you're going to tell me that much, a much, a muchlat is like it's oimed l'sreifa, and in a sense it doesn't have any shear. Va'abayin abalabayis veleka. You need him to be. You have to have be alabayis. But if it doesn't have a shear, you be alabayis is not logical. Shani also damakrov and not tatzes abayis. It means. Up until you destroy the house, it's still called a vice, even though you've declared it Tsaras Mukhla. Toshma. Matlishesh Poshosha Shosh. You have a shmata that's three by three finger breaths. I will be shame for Kazayas, given Shaniklas Rubal by his start team also. If it's tar, but you brought it into a house. That with saras becomes tummy. My love muchletes. Is that a, a, a house muchlet? And therefore, there's bia of the of the garment. We don't say michtas shiura. 
even though it's oymid l'sreifa. So where says lo musgeres? We're not talking about a mochel. We're talking about a musger. Yachi em seifa. How you become a zeisim? This was a big shmata. Even shenichlus be menek kazayis labayis tor timatu. Once you put in a kazayis, it becomes tummy. So e amit bishma muchlet this I don't discuss the maze. I understand if it's a muchlet, it's compared to a maze. I am it was gers a maze kishle maze. But why is it compared to a maze? So shiny awesome domer krov the saraf is a begin. A filu b'shas reifa kori begin. Even though this begin is oy mid l'sreifa, it's still called a begin. Freak more v'ligme mine. Fine. So regarding a sandal, the other things that are hochlet, let us say that they're still considered shoes. So we should pask it. So isra metuma lo gamrinam. That, that's Hilchus Tumas. Isra veheter, which is, is a din by Yibum and Chlitza to allow the woman to get married or not. Isra metuma lo gamrinam. Am Rabbi Hilchus so echad san la muske echad san shemuchlet vechad san shalavod zara loy tachlots from chotza chalitza sukshiva. If a sandal was used. They put a sandal, a, shoe, a statue that was worshipped over the Zohar, they put a shoe on it. Or a sandal musgar, a sandal muchlet, l'chathchili, you shouldn't do chlitza, but if you did it, it's kosher. Because it's a misham she'av over the Zohar, and that's lav l'sreifa. So therefore it has a shear. Because you can still do butl, bitl. And there's no anoah, you can say, oh, it's also anoah, chlitza lav anoahi. The mitzvahs love lenis nitu. However, shall tikruvus of the zara, if it if it was a shoe that was going to be offered as a korban, so that's oymid l'sreifa, and then we'll say the chalitza subsul because there's no shear. Oh, we'll finish this tomorrow. I right. kind of, uh, Rabbi Rabbi Stewart gave me a, a, a chalitza a chalitza shoe. I have it someplace. My show, show it to us. I have. Wow. I try to find it. He, it's mama's thing. I have it for so many years. I don't know what happened to it. It looks like a slipper, a, ca a canvas slipper, but a lot of strings around it. He used it many times. He says he used it in the past. I kept. I, he did. He performed Khalisa sometimes. Yeah. So I got to try to find it. I was gonna. Yeah, like a show, a show and tell. I got it here someplace where you use, use it. Let me, let me ask you. Yesterday's Gamora, he talked about Shmuel Bar Yehuda. Uh, he was a gear. How come he named himself? Shmuel ben Yehuda. Can he take any name when he becomes a ger? He can take any name for himself. Who usually is Shmuel ben Avram? The two, the blood before. It's Shmuel or Shmuel ben Yehuda. He said, "I'm a ger." Ger, he's always I was a ger. I was wondering why he called himself Shmuel ben Yehuda. Is yeah. Yehuda? Can they take that also a name? Why would he be ben Yehuda? I don't know. He just, that's what the Gemara refers to him as you. Shmuel ben Yehuda, usually when a person becomes a Gary, he comes. Maybe, maybe the father was Jewish, but the mother, maybe the father was Jewish, but the mother was Goyetza. Yeah. He says, uh, I, I'm a, I was, I was Maguire. That's what he said. So, you so if the mother, the mother yeah. was not Jewish, oh, yeah. he, would, he would need Gear, but maybe your father was Jewish. So he took his father's name. Okay. Maybe. maybe. Yeah. You know, you know, I, I just I came across that this morning. Why he refers to Shmuel ben Yehuda usually Gary Yishi, you know Gary. Okay, Shkoyah. Thank you. Thank you.